Part of Canada's bid to become a major EV manufacturing hub may be hitting a roadblock. CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Genevieve Beauchemin on the legal showdown. This land was sold as the site of a multi-billion dollar project to give energy transition a boost. Now that plan is facing roadblocks. And it's environmentalists challenging Swedish EV battery maker Northvolt's footprint on a sensitive ecosystem. A group focused on environmental rights is arguing for a temporary injunction from the Quebec Superior Court, calling the province's decision to greenlight the project unreasonable. Bulldozers began clearing 8,000 trees last week on what was once the site of an explosives manufacturer. Northvolt has promised to plant three times as many trees elsewhere. But opponents demand work be paused until Quebec orders an independent environmental assessment. Wetlands on this site provide precious ecological functions. They provide habitats for a rich biodiversity, including at-risk species such as the least bittern, which is listed as threatened. The Quebec government argues the project and its environmental vocation is in the public interest and that its own biologist cleared it. Earlier this week, an anonymous group claimed responsibility for putting nails and metal bars in about 100 trees on the site, protecting the forest, the group said, by making it more dangerous and difficult to cut the trees down. But many called out the sabotage, saying the trees were to be transformed into things like furniture. If we're lucky, we could grind them for uh, biomass, but even that, depending on how much uh, metal there is in the trees, we might have to just uh, send them to the landfill. And there's also another legal case in the works, this one filed by the Mohawk Council. What we are opposed to is not even being consulted on the importance of, uh, of uh, protecting endangered species. For now, bulldozers are silent on the site. The judge says he will decide soon whether to issue a temporary injunction. Omar. All right, Genevieve, thank you.